stampers and welcome to Laura's stamp pad. Today I just wanted to show you a very quick and simple washi tape card. I know some of you maybe have seen washi tape but aren't really sure what it is or you've played with it a lot uh, maybe with your memory keeping, scrapbooking or maybe even your greeting cards but I just wanted to show you this super simple but yet super fabulous greeting card. I make lots of these samples um, as I do thank you cards for my bridal fairs and so these have all my contact information on the back and they're just a quick and simple thank you note with an envelope in there that I can pass out to the brides so that they have my information and because we all know that they're sending out a million and one thank you notes. So here's a few samples that I have done uh, with two strips of washi tape and a very simple thank you greeting up top. Today I'm going to do a birthday one and let's see how long it takes. So let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with a sheet a of eight and a half by 11 Whisper White card stock. And so we're not gonna actually cut it into half to have the two cards until we've already done the washi tape. So I'm gonna do my cards going up and down and I have some of the It's My Party washi tape, which is, um, the one has balloons on it and then the other one is just like a, a rose, rose red pattern and I'm just going to run it all the way across and I have my paper snips and I'll trim it off on both ends. If you want to leave um, a ripped look then you're, you most certainly can. And this end wasn't a flat end so I will have to trim that off as well. And then we'll add our balloons. If I can find the end. There it is. So we'll add our balloons and our balloons go up and down. So I will put them going this way. Flatten that out and again, trim off the ends. And then now I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and I'm going to cut it in half. And so I'm cutting it in half at four and a quarter. So I have four and a quarter down here and cut it in half. And then this way, instead of having to place a little piece of, of the washi tape down here and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it and cutting it, instead I was able to eliminate two of those cuts by just adding um, the paper, leaving the paper together and doing it at the same time. Now I have some rose red ink and I'm going to use the Hostess stamp set, Happy Birthday Everyone, and do that fabulous birthday greeting. So we're just going to ink that up here in rose red and stamp that on our card. And then stamp it on the other one. And then now we can fold these in half and we are good to go. Look how fabulous that was. That was so quick, so simple, and yet it's just a stunning card. Isn't that amazing? Love it, and how quick was that? Be sure to check out my blog, laurastamppad.com, as I will be posting photos and a write-up of this sample as well as all of these thank you notes that I created for the bridal fair. So you can check out those for some inspiration to do some washi cards of your own. And let me know what you think about doing quick and simple washi tape cards uh, in the comments below. I'd love to hear some of your favorite color combinations or how many you've done in a quick amount of time because that is super fabulous. And I would love to hear from from you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye bye.